Welcome to our channel, in this video we will discuss about the cloud offering, Azure DevOps and its features. Azure DevOps tutorial is divided in three parts. You are watching part 1 tutorial now. Topics covered. 1. Azure DevOps Services. 2. How to choose Azure DevOps Server. 3. Azure DevOps Services Scalability. 4. How to manage user access. 5. Data protection in Azure DevOps. 6. What is data availability in Azure DevOps? Let's understand what is Azure DevOps Services. Azure DevOps Services provides a scalable, reliable, and globally available hosted service. It's backed by 99.9% .9 SLA, monitored by our 24-7 operations team, and available in local data centers around the world. Azure DevOps provides integrated features that you can access through your web browser or IDE client. You can use one or more of the following standalone services based on your business needs. Azure Repos provides Git repositories or Team Foundation version control TFVC, for source control of your code. Azure Pipelines provides build and release services to support continuous integration and delivery of your applications. Azure Boards delivers a suite of agile tools to support planning and tracking work, code defects, and issues using Kanban and Scrum methods. Azure Test Plans provide several tools to test your apps, including manual-slash-exploratory testing and continuous testing. Azure Artifacts allows teams to share packages such as Maven, NPM, NuGet, and more from public and private sources and integrate package sharing into your pipelines. You can also use the following collaboration tools. Customizable team dashboards with configurable widgets to share information, progress, and trends. Built-in wikis for sharing information. Configurable notifications. Azure DevOps supports adding extensions and integrating with other popular services, such as Campfire, Slack, Trello, User Voice, and more, and developing your own custom extensions. Azure DevOps Services supports integration with GitHub.com and GitHub Enterprise Server Repositories. Azure DevOps Server supports integration with GitHub Enterprise Server Repositories. Choose Azure DevOps Services when you want the following outcomes. Quick Setup Maintenance-free operations Easy collaboration across domains Elastic scale Rock-solid security Azure DevOps Services also gives you access to cloud build and deployment servers and application insights. We've made it easy for you to start for free and try out our services. Sign up for free by creating an organization. Then, either upload your code to share or source control. Begin tracking your work using Scrum, Kanban, or a combination of methods. You can use all the services included with Azure DevOps, or choose just what you need to complement your existing workflows. Azure Boards Plan, track, and discuss work across your teams. Azure Pipelines Continuously build, test, and deploy to any platform and cloud. Azure Repos Get unlimited, cloud-hosted private Git repositories for your project. How to choose Azure DevOps Server Choose on-premises Azure DevOps Server when you need your data to stay within your network. Your work tracking customization requirements are met better with the on-premises XML process model over the inheritance process model. The on-premises model supports modification of XML definition files. When you deploy Azure DevOps Server, you can also configure the following servers or integration points. Build Server supports on-premises and cloud-hosted builds. SQL Server and SQL Analysis Server support SQL Server reports and the ability to create Excel pivot charts based on the cube. Start for free by downloading Azure DevOps Server Express. Then, either upload your code to share or source control. Or, begin tracking your work using Scrum, Kanban, or a combination of methods. Azure DevOps Server is built on a SQL Server backend. Customers usually choose the on-premises version when they need their data to stay within their network or when they want access to SQL Server reporting services that integrate with Azure DevOps Server data and tools. Although both offerings provide the same essential services, compared with Azure DevOps Server, Azure DevOps Services offers the following added benefits. Simplified server management. Immediate access to the latest and greatest features. Improved connectivity with remote sites. A transition from capital expenditures, servers and the like, to operational expenditures, subscriptions, to determine which offering, cloud or on-premises, meets your needs, consider the following key differences. When you're choosing which platform you want, or if you're considering a move from on-premises to the cloud, consider the following areas. Scope and scale data. Authentication. 
Users and Groups Manage User Access Security and Data Protection Although Azure DevOps Services is a hosted version of Azure DevOps Server, there are some differences between features. Some Azure DevOps Server features aren't supported in Azure DevOps Services. For example, Azure DevOps Services doesn't support integration with SQL Server Analysis Services to support reporting. Two of the following other areas differ in their support. Process Customization Reporting As your business grows, you may need to scale up your Azure DevOps instance. How Azure DevOps Services Scalability Works Azure DevOps Services differs slightly from Azure DevOps Server. There are currently only two options for scoping and scaling data, organizations and projects. Organizations in Azure DevOps Services get their own URLs, for example, https colon slash slash dev.azure.com slash fiber, and they always have exactly one project collection. Organizations can have many projects within a collection. We recommend that you create organizations in Azure DevOps Services wherever you would create collections in Azure DevOps Server. The following scenarios apply. You can purchase Azure DevOps Services users per organization, paid users can access only the organization in which the payment is made. If you have users who need access to many organizations, Visual Studio subscriptions can be an attractive option. Visual Studio subscribers can be added to any number of organizations at no charge. We're also considering other ways to make access available to many organizations that are grouped into a single organization. You currently have to administer organizations one at a time. This process can be cumbersome when you have many organizations. Azure DevOps Server offers the following three options for scoping and scaling data, deployments, project collections, and projects. In the simplest case, deployments are just servers. Deployments can be more complicated, however, which could include two-server deployment where SQL is split out on a separate machine, high availability farms with lots of servers, project collection service containers for security and administration, and physical database boundaries. They're also used to group related projects. Finally, projects are used to encapsulate the assets of individual software projects, including source code, work items, and so on. With Azure DevOps Services, you connect over the public internet, for example, https colon slash slash contoso.visualstudio.com. You either authenticate with Microsoft account credentials or with Azure AD credentials, depending on your organization setup. You can also set up Azure AD to require features such as multi-factor authentication, IP address restrictions, and so on. We recommend that you configure your organizations to use Azure AD rather than Microsoft accounts. This method provides a better experience in many scenarios and more options for enhanced security. With Azure DevOps Server, you connect to an intranet server, for example, https colon slash slash tfs.corp.contoso.com colon 8080 slash tfs. You authenticate with Windows Authentication and your Active Directory, AD, domain credentials. This process is transparent and you never see any kind of sign-in experience. In Azure DevOps Services, you can use a similar mechanism to provide access to groups of users. You can add Azure AD groups to Azure DevOps Services groups. If you use Microsoft accounts instead of Azure AD, you have to add users one at a time. In Azure DevOps Server, you provide users access to deployments by adding Active Directory, AD, groups to various Azure DevOps groups, for example, the contributors group for an individual project. The AD group memberships are kept in sync. As users are added and removed in AD, they also gain and lose access to Azure DevOps Server. How to manage user access In both Azure DevOps Services and Azure DevOps Server, you manage access to features by assigning users to an access level. All users must be assigned to a single access level. In both the cloud and on-premises offerings, you can give free access to work item features to an unlimited number of stakeholders. Also, an unlimited number of Visual Studio subscribers can have access to all basic features at no additional charge. You pay only for other users who need access. In Azure DevOps Services, you must assign an access level to each user in your organization. Azure DevOps Services validates Visual Studio subscribers as they sign in. You can assign basic access for free to five users without Visual Studio subscriptions. In Azure DevOps Server, all use is on the Honor system. To set access levels for users based on their licenses, specify their access levels on the administration page. For example, assign unlicensed users stakeholder access only. Data protection in Azure DevOps? 
Azure DevOps Services is a cloud-hosted application for your development projects, from planning through deployment. Based on the capabilities of Visual Studio Team Foundation Server, with additional cloud services, Azure DevOps manages your source code, work items, builds, and tests. It uses Platform as a Service, PAS, infrastructure and many Azure services, including Azure SQL, to deliver a reliable, globally available service for your development projects. Azure DevOps Services uses Azure Storage as the primary repository for service metadata and customer data. Depending on the type of data and the storage and retrieval needs, Azure DevOps Services uses Azure Blob Storage, for binary large objects, and Azure SQL Data Storage. To understand the Azure DevOps Services approach to data protection, some background on these elements is important. Azure Blob Storage stores large chunks of unstructured data. All projects use the Azure Blob Storage service. This data includes potentially sensitive or private information, such as the contents of source files and the attachments on work items. For most projects, the majority of storage in use is this type of unstructured blob storage. For more information, see Azure Blob Storage. Azure SQL Database Storage stores the structured and transactional aspects of your organization, including project metadata, the version source control history, and work item details. Database storage gives you fast access to the important elements of your project and provides indexes into the blob storage to look up files and attachments. For more information, see Azure SQL Database. What is data availability in Azure DevOps? Azure DevOps Services uses many of the Azure storage features to ensure data availability in the case of hardware failure, service disruption, or region disaster. Additionally, the Azure DevOps team follows procedures to protect data from accidental or malicious deletion. How is data redundancy managed in Azure DevOps? To protect data in the case of hardware or service failures, Azure Storage Geo replicates customer data between two regions in the same geography. For example, Azure can geo replicate data between North and West Europe or between North and South United States. For Azure Blob Storage, Customer data is replicated three times within a single region, and is replicated asynchronously to a second region in the same geography. As such, Azure always maintains the equivalent of six copies of your data. This enables you to fail over to a separate region if there's a major outage or disaster, while also having local redundancy for hardware failures within a region. For Azure SQL Database Storage, daily backups are maintained off-site if there's a regional disaster. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.